Hi there. I've heard from a lot of the experts that doing decluttering sessions in about 15 to 20 minutes per day can actually make a difference. So I wanted to put that to the test and see if it actually worked for me. So I'm going to start today in the closet and we will see at the end of the next few days how much I was able to declutter, throw away, whatever. And I'm reminding myself not to try to organize during this period of time. I'm just simply going through and picking out items that I know I can get rid of very quickly. So let's start. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I have a very tiny closet and it's difficult to work with. And for the summer, I've pulled out a lot of my shorts and I actually bought some new shorts. Um, so I'm gonna be getting rid of several of my old ones that I know I'm not gonna wear anymore. And I'm just gonna do that very quickly. One of the things that has made this journey so effective is making sure that I'm using the one in, one out rule. And every time I bring something new into the house, I am making sure to get rid of some of the old stuff. On Amazon Prime Day, I bought myself and my husband a new pillow. Ours are pretty beat up. So I figured I would just clean them in the washing machine and I would vacuum seal them up so that way when the kids have friends over they have a clean pillow to sleep on so i'm going to put those over here so that i take care of it now and i don't just leave them sitting in the room for too long this i know i don't use i can get rid of it everything else in here i think can go into the trash the rest of this stuff is trash I'm just going to take that out now and put it in the trash. We have our bed up on these risers. My goal eventually is to get rid of all of the stuff under the bed and stop storing stuff under there so it'll be easier to clean. But right now I just don't have anywhere to put that stuff so I need to work on that. But I have these extra ones that I've just been leaving in here for I don't even know why. So I'm going to donate these as well. All right, so we've got just a couple minutes left of our 15 minute block for today. I'm gonna to just get rid of a couple things in the bathroom. I know that there's not too much, but here's an example of what I would do in the past. I bought this conditioner, I don't know, a while back and I hate it. It doesn't seem to do anything for my hair. I don't like the smell of it. I just don't like it. But I wanted to keep using it to use it all up so I wasn't being wasteful. But then I ended up buying another one, using this one instead, but leaving this one in there, I guess, just to keep trying to use it up. But I'm not doing that anymore. Um, I'm just gonna get rid of it and get it out of my house. I have this in there. I don't even remember when I got it. It's probably expired, but I was holding on to it again because it was unused and I figured we could just use it up but it's not the brand that I use. The kids don't use it and I'm gonna just let it go. This I was gonna reuse to make some foaming soap, but I just put the soap in here, so I'm gonna let that go. This is from, I think, um, Dollar, Dollar Tree, I think, um, but I don't like it, so I'm just gonna let it go. And these things, well, not the Band-Aids. These things, again, I've had them forever. We don't use them, so they don't need to be taking up space in the room. So I'm gonna let these go too. The Band-Aids I'll keep, because these always come in handy. All right, so day one is done. We've got our items here that we're gonna throw away. And then these are some items to donate. And that was 15 minutes of time. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, guys, I'm back. I figured today we could do 15 minutes just kind of dealing with some of the kitchen stuff. Just getting rid of some of the stuff I know for sure I don't need in here. Things in the pantry and maybe a couple of other places. So let's start here. I'm going to start under the sink and see if there's anything under here I don't need. Again, it's pretty organized, but I'm sure that there's a couple things in here I might not need. I'm just setting my 15 minute timer. This I never used. I got these a while back, but um, these sprayers just don't work that great, so I'm gonna let this one go. I will keep this one. Maybe I'll try to find another sprayer, but I'm gonna let one of them go.
I just picked up a couple of new Scrub Daddy um, sponges that I want to put in here. So I never use these magic erasers, so I'm just going to let these go as well. And I've had a lot of this stuff over here for a while, so I think it's time to go through it. One of the biggest struggles I had was dealing with some of the paper clutter and schoolwork, things like that. So I have figured out now that I can just get rid of a lot of the stuff and the stuff that I do want to keep, we have a special bin for. Only a few pieces actually make it into there each year from each child and it is way more manageable. So I tend to just throw everything in this and then try to go through it every few months and clear it out. So I cleared it out. I was able to find that stuff, which I just have to go through really quickly. And then I've added that stuff to the trash. Now I wanted to see if there's anything in here that I can get rid of. I don't think I need all of these, so. I'm just gonna keep two and we'll get rid of the rest. This is what happens when I buy things that are not in the meal plan for the week is I don't have a use for them and then they go bad. So I've been really trying to do better with like meal planning and not buying things other than what I've planned for. That way I'm not wasting so much food. All right, so here's some of the stuff I'm gonna get rid of. These grapes, those English muffins are just no good anymore so I'm gonna get rid of them. This we're never gonna eat so I'm gonna get rid of that. Unfortunately this was not even opened but I don't think it's any good anymore and same thing with those rice I tend to use one type of rice I've had those for a long time we don't use them I'm just gonna throw them away and get them out of the pantry and then here's a smaller thing of smaller pile of some of the stuff I got out of the cabinet some sponges that cup we're never gonna use all those extra medicine cups vitamins that are old We've got about three minutes left on our timer. I am going to declutter some of these glass bowls. I do use them a lot for like ingredient prep and spice prep and things like that, but I don't need all of them. So I think I'm just gonna keep these ones. So we'll let these go. We have about two minutes left on the timer, so I was just thinking, I was cooking the other day, and I was zesting up a lemon for dessert, and I had these two. I had gotten this one not that long ago, and this one I've had for a while. I love this thing. It is staying. But this one actually didn't even grate the lemons. It's just so worn out. Um, I washed it, put it away, but now I'm just going to declutter it, because it, if it doesn't work, why am I going to keep it? And this one works great, and I also have a larger one. So this one can go. I don't think I'm going to get much more done in a minute and a half, so we're going to call it for today. Not too bad for a quick 15 minutes. All right, it's day three, and I know of one thing in this closet for sure that I don't want anymore. I've been thinking about it for a while. I have my immersion blender. It also came with this attachment. I never use it. I just use a regular whisk, so this can go. And then I think I have one more thing in here. I've debated this, but 
I think I'm going to get rid of the cake leveler. I have a knife, a big serrated knife that I can use when I want to cut the cakes in half. I don't need to keep this big bulky box anymore. So ho I hope someone else enjoys this. So if you've watched any of my other videos, you know my basement is probably the hardest thing for me to handle because at one point I was really good about coming down all the time, managing everything, going through everything, keeping everything neat and organized, but I just got tired of doing it. So I'm in the process of working through everything currently and not really rebuying as much because we simply don't have the room for it and I don't have the energy to keep up with it anymore. So. A few weeks ago, I had come through and I went through some of these containers here and got rid of a bunch of expired stuff. Unfortunately, you know, I know it's horrible, but I, you know, I learned from my lesson. I no longer purchase things like that that we're not going to go through on a regular basis. So I'm just trying to get rid of the stuff that is expired or donating food that is still good that I know we're not going to eat. But when I did that, I came across several things that I had put into a box to kind of see if I would use it at a later date give myself some time to really think about whether I wanted to keep it and I'm deciding to just let the entire box go. So I put the box off to the side. It's some stuff that I was given for baking. Um, one of them is a cookie press. I have two other ones so I don't need the third one. I probably don't need two but I'll probably get rid of one at Christmas time when I really use that and I'll decide which one I want to keep. Some other uh, small baking tins, again for the holidays, but I'm not going to use them, so I'm going to let them go. This is some stuff for cake decorating. A squeegee that I'd gotten from Dollar Tree, I think, but I don't use it, so. Another, um, this is for like frosting and doing designs with frosting. And then just a candy melt thing, which I've never used, so I'm going to let it go. So I'm just going to take the whole box. There's a couple packages of these things, and I'm just going to donate the whole thing. I also have a lot of cookie cutters. Um, Basically like one of these, but smaller, I have filled with cookie cutters. So I know I have all of these shapes in there, so I'm just going to let this whole thing go too. This is not being used. Donate. And this is just a big bulky box. There's only a couple of wipes left in here. I'm going to bring those upstairs and put them into a jar that I use and get rid of this bulky box. This is broken, I'm just gonna throw it away. Okay, I found two more items down here. This I've had sitting on top of the washing machine, just a shirt that no longer fits my youngest, so I'm gonna donate that. And then this I was using on one of the racks, um, but there's just, it doesn't fit anymore. I have different stuff on there now, so instead of storing this, I'm just gonna let this go as well. So I'll go put this all up in the bins and we'll see how much we were able to gather up in the last three days and see if these 15 minute declutters actually work. All right, my timer's almost up, but I wanted to quickly show you guys, I'll try to find the clip of the old bookcase that we had in my son's room. It used to be right here against the wall. I... Here's the old bookcase that used to be in the room. I had taken that down a couple of months ago and got rid of the bookcase and was saving the books for him to read but that was my fantasy and not his reality. I'd gotten rid of it a while ago, but I kept some of his books down there, hoping that he was gonna actually continue to read them, but unfortunately he doesn't. So instead of just me holding on to them, hoping that he'll read them, I'm just gonna donate them and let someone else enjoy them. So I'm gonna add those to the pile as well. All right, I spent the last three days doing just 15 minutes a day to see if I could actually make a dent in some of the stuff I wanted to get rid of. So let's take a look and see what I'm getting rid of. So we've got all the books from my son's room, three big piles, some old rice. I'm probably just gonna declutter those containers as well. Some old food that was in the pantry that we no longer need, some shorts, all this baking stuff. 
and then there's the trash that I'm gonna just throw it throw right in the garbage so I would say that doing 15 minutes a day can actually get your house decluttered if you don't want to spend an entire day or several hours each day doing the decluttering you can just take 15 to 20 minutes of your time on a day maybe the end of the day or in the morning before everything gets so busy and just see if you're able to kind of declutter that way so good luck